If you recall from uh, Graphics 2, we had explored Wajita uh, pop art portraits, and you had done some as well. If you want to use your own that you had created for this, we will look back in, our, in your files and find one. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to pick uh, one at random here, click on it, and then click View Image. Now, once you have this, you're going to then drag it into your folder, so make sure you open up Graphics Lab. Once Graphic Labs opens up, please put this in your folder, whichever one you're choosing to use. Okay, I'm going to put it on the desktop for now. I'm just going to click and drag and put it on the desktop. Then from there, I'm going to right-click, open with Photoshop. So what we want to do in this is just kind of dim it down a little bit, bring down the opacity a little bit, and then resave it, and we're going to bring it into SketchUp. So at the same time, I'm going to open up SketchUp also. So those are the two programs, Photoshop and SketchUp for this project. When you start SketchUp, <clears throat> you can just do a regular feet and inches one. Get rid of the lady. I'm going to minimize that for a moment. Back to the Abraham Lincoln one that I have here. So what I would like to do is double click where the layer is. I'm just going to bring down the opacity of that. Maybe uh, 60 or so, 65, something like that is fine. I'm going to hit File, Save As. We're going to save it back. Save it back to the same place. You could name it, uh, you know, Pick for SketchUp. Put your name on it, maybe. Get rid of the rest of this if you don't get too confused. Just like that. You could leave it as a PSD file. You could make it into a JPEG. It really doesn't matter at this point. And you should be able to hit Save and OK. And then once it OKs, you can close out of that one. And then you're going to go into SketchUp. And then once you're in SketchUp here, you're going to go to File, Import, and then you're going to find it. So you're going to go to your desktop, you're going to find the one. Now down here where it says Format, you can choose uh, JPEG to find that one, or you can see PSD if you chose a PSD. Click it, click the faded one that you just saved, import it, and as soon as you import it, you'll see it follows your mouse, it follows the arrow. What I'm going to do is kind of click here in the corner, click and drag out like that and then let go. So it comes up as a picture very much like what you just saved but now it's in SketchUp. Uh, the thing that's going to be handy here are those hotkeys that are from up here where we say uh, camera, standard views, top, bottom, front, back, left, right, ISO. So if you do top, command one, you'll see it from way on the top. So from here what we're going to do is go to window and layers Make sure we have our layers up. Now this is very similar to a Photoshop Illustrator kind of a visibility thing here. You have your zero layer and this is where you're going to begin to uh, draw. What I would like to do is just stay on this layer. So click on layer zero and you are going to then choose this tool here which is the free hand tool. Kind of looks like a squiggle. Now from there, if you have any shapes that are kind of squiggly, literally all you have to do is follow them and then hold option and they will close up and you'll notice that it becomes a face just like any other face which then you can click push pull on and make it to a shape. So that is one if your shapes are really kind of more curvy. Now because we're using the pop art portrait one they should be pretty straight. So instead you can use the regular pencil tool. So as you go on this remember command one kind of zoom in on it a little bit and just do piece by piece. Now it's going to seem like a lot of pieces at first but it's really not that bad. Just kind of find your way and if you go at an angle, you'll notice it turns, if you click here, it might look a little uh, pink. Now, see I'm, I've, ke I've kept it flat. Now be careful, if you go up on the blue axis, you're actually going up. You don't want to go up. You just want to stay on those planes. So do Command-1 so you can see it. And I would kind of stick with those Command-1 options. All right. And you should be able to close pieces up, just like that. All right. I would draw them all before you actually pull them out. So from here, get ready, Command-1 again. And you can kind of use the hand tool and move on a little bit. Make sure it's Command-1. Use your pencil. Click click, 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 and then I would kind of connect them, and then you got another piece.
So what's going to happen is you're going to have a ton of these pieces that you just continue to sort of click around with. Follow the colors that you see. If you follow them, you're going to assure yourself that this will look just like what it should, just like the person. Okay, and you're going to get all these little ones to kind of play with and choose. All right, and then you know if you have any problems, you just get in here and you just connect. You just connect one to another, it makes another face. You connect one to another, it makes another face. And now what's going to happen at the end of this project? You're going to have all these pieces. We will go in, we'll take the black arrow at the very end, we'll click on the picture, and we can hit delete. And all you'll be left with is your pieces. But for now, I'm going to leave it. You're also going to be able to take your push-pull tool, click on any face, and lift it. So this is what's going to start to create the buildings of your uh, city, or a little hotel kind of a thing. Now, you can leave out certain pieces. If you don't want to do the white pieces, those can be flat. You could think of maybe lighter pieces as being lower, and the darker pieces as being maybe the higher buildings. Um, what else can we do to these? Once you have created your different towers in these different buildings as part of your resort that you're creating, you could then switch tools. You can create, you know, uh, windows, faces. You can then take the push-pull tool, obviously pull those out or push them in. You can um, do the offset tool, which is this one. And you can kind of offset it to the outside, create little window sills. You can push-pull those. Out, a little bit of everything that you kind of have covered at this point. You can select the move tool, take any piece, bend it, twist it, turn it, you know, do all the stuff that you kind of have learned at this point. Um, the only additional sort of things I think might be interesting here is I don't want you to use the 3D warehouse uh, too much, but if you want to use it for some pools or some other things, you can. Be sure to color everything in with the paint bucket, go to the brick here, and choose a few of these different you know, categories depending on what you're coloring in. If you're doing some kind of roofing, certainly pick roofing and use it on your um, model. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing you might want to play with a little bit is if you go to Extensions Warehouse, which is this one here, there is one that is called, let's see if I can find it here for you, it's called Soap Skin and Bubble. So basically what you do is when you go here and the extensions warehouse comes up, you type in soap skin and you do a little, it's this top one. And what you do is you click on it. And once you click on it, when it comes up, you're going to hit install. Right now I already installed it so it's saying uninstall, but for you, you'll hit install, you'll hit OK. You might have to restart uh, SketchUp and it'll come back up. Now what that tool does, which is pretty cool, is if you click on a face, like this. Um, and sometimes you have to kind of double click to get the edges and the face together. You'll see this little toolbar pop up here once you install it. If you click the first one, it creates a skin. You can see the skin here with all the pieces. Right now it's devising it by 10. You see here at the bottom. If I'm up that to uh, 40 and hit return, I'm going to hit return twice. You'll see it do its work of kind of making a grid out of that one face. Now once it's done, you could then go to the bub or bubble button, generate soap bubble, and when you click on it, you have to select it first, my bad. So take the uh, black arrow, click on it now, and then select the bubble, and then here at the bottom you can tell how much pressure you want it to push out at. So if you did, you know, 100, and then hit return, give it a minute, and you'll see that it be, it'll begin to kind of grow out from the side. Now depending on how much you do, you're going to get a different kind of look on it each time. I don't know how well you can tell here. Sometimes based on the, the size, I guess, and, and the timing here, it's not going to come out the way I want here. I think it's still doing its thing, honestly. I right, try it on yours. I think I picked a little bit too large of one, but it'll bubble out the side basically. Let's see if I can try one here just to show you. Should be able to take any plane like this. 
select it. I just want to show you how this works. Hit the skin button. Hit return again. Let it draw it. Use the bubble button. Got to select it first, my bad. Bubble it. And why is it not bubbling? It should be bubbling. What if we do more pressure? 500. Yes, okay. It bubbled it in the opposite direction. You see it kind of bubbling under there? All right, so, uh, but that's pretty much the, the basics um, of it. It's not that difficult of a project. You just have to follow the lines that you see. Some examples of this would be, uh, like here's an original picture of Bob Marley, and then the SketchUp version would look something like this, right? Now this does not have any windows or anything. I just color coded it to kind of show you, but uh, it doesn't have any pools, doesn't have any trees or anything to make it look like a resort other than the buildings and a, a bunch of different things kind of going on. And obviously if you do command one, you see it from the outside and it looks like the person. As soon as you start to turn it, it looks more like the buildings that you might see in a resort. Along the outskirts, you can put water, like we could change the hair. Let's just say to water. you know, and make that kind of like the pool that goes around the entire resort. However you want to do it, uh, that's sort of up to you there. Let's see if there's another one here. No, we already did that one. Okay. So um, that's basically the way you're going to construct it. If you don't want to use a face, that's fine. You can create yours straight up, and uh, you should be good to go. Any questions, please see me.